Minister of Planning and the Economy Dr. Botuari says government plans to allocate $7 to $8 billion to the 2011-2012 Public Sector Investment Program. In his address to the Chamber members, he asked if the private sector would invest $2 billion in the economy to create new business opportunities beneficial both to themselves and the country. Roger Dwarka reports. Dr. Tuari says that although Trinidad and Tobago has moved up three places in the global competitive ranking to 81, it's nothing to celebrate since there's an imbalance between gross domestic product, output, income and competitiveness, and human resource development, where the country is ranked at 59. But the amount of money that we are using to get to that level is much more than a country of our size should be using when we look at the world comparatively. So what this tells us is that we are not spending our money well on human resource development. We are not targeting it properly. We might not be spending on the right things for the right results. And therefore, it needs a total overhaul. Looking regionward, he says the market possibilities have been exhausted, and it's now a case of creating synergy-led businesses which can compete in the global marketplace. But before reaching the Western and Asian hemispheres, he says one needs to look next door at Latin America as it flexes its economic muscles. However, the minister said he's also looking at the private sector to be a major driver in the push to reach markets beyond CARICOM and achieve real diversification. But for now, he's asking them for their assistance in achieving the objectives for the PSIP. The work with government through their institution and as individual investors businessmen and entrepreneurs to invest two billion dollars two billion trend out of tobago dollars about 300 million u.s dollars in the economy as we put out this public sector program thinking sharing developing and implementing Dr. Tiwari said the aim is to encourage business to work with government and use the many programs, plans and trade agreements which would lead to growth, prosperity and diversification for the country. Roger Dwarako, C News. And here are the details of the day's market activity.